So once you have installed homebrew and when you give this command, which is brew space help, for example, and then press enter, it's going to complain that brew is not uh, found by this ZSH terminal. So if you are using the newer version of macOS, the default terminal on macOS is ZSH and ZSH is not able to recognize the brew command because the brew binary path is not set in our .zshrc. So now what you need to do is in your home folder, so make sure you are in your home folder and if you are not sure, just write cd and then press enter and this will bring you to the home folder on your terminal. Here, give ls space uh, hyphen al command which is going to show you uh, all the hidden files and also other folders on your home directory. Here I don't see .zshrc file, so I need to create a new .shrc in my Mac operating system. If you see .zshrc in this list, then you just need to open that and then just add the line which I'm going to show you, right? So first of all, we need to know where brew installs itself. Right, so generally brew installs itself in a directory called forward slash opt. It creates the directory called homebrew in opt uh, folders. So opt forward slash homebrew and then the homebrew binary will be in this directory. So when I do ls, I can see this brew uh, binary and this is not recognized yet by zsh, right? So to uh, add this, let me clear the terminal and then I can give this command, which is nano and then dot zshrc. So we need to create this dot zshrc file and then add the export for the binary directory for the brew. So I'm going to just uh, press enter, which is going to create this .zshrc. And then here just type export space path is equal to, and in the double quotes, you need to provide that path, which is opt forward slash home brew forward slash bin. And then you just need to give this colon symbol and then give dollar in capital path and then close your double quotes. Now I'm going to give you this line in the description of this video so you can directly copy this command and paste it in your uh, .zshrc file. Once you are done, press Control X on your keyboard. So press Control X. And once you see this kind of output, which says save modified buffer, press Y key on your terminal, which is going to save your changes into the file which you have created, and then press enter, which is going to exit out of the nano tool, right? Now, once you are done, you can again give ls space hyphen al command to verify if everything is working. So it should be ls and not la let me give this command and you can see this dot zshrc file is created and then when i do a uh, cat dot zshrc it's going to show you the content of that dot zshrc file which is this line which we have added once that's done the last command we need is the source command. So just write source and then dot .zshrc. What this command does is it loads the binary uh, path which you have ex uh, exported in the current terminal itself, right? So you don't need to close the terminal and restart the terminal once again. Press enter, which is going to source this dot .zshrc file. Once you are done, let me clear the terminal and then let's try the brew 
help command once again so i'm going to just write brew and then help command and then press enter and now this time brew is working on my uh, mac operating system right so as i said brew is a package manager so you can install some packages using brew right so, so for example you want to install a package called git you can give this command which is brew install and then the package name so if you want to search for the packages you can always go to brew.sh uh, uh, website and here you can search for the packages so you can see when i give git a command you can see this is how you can install git and you will be able to see the versions of git here you can also find all this in your terminal itself right so let me show you how you can just find that package you can just give this command in your terminal to find the package so i'm going to give this uh, brew search command and then when i write git here it's going to search for the git package so you can see there are so many uh, packages related to git right and the package we wanted to install is this git one but there are some other packages from many dev developers here so you can install these packages and you can use git in few different ways right i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next